This is the KTM 500 EXC. There are none like this one, and this one is mine. They call it the Alpha. Like an apex predator, this bike sits atop the dual sport list when it comes to performance and power. It is anything but typical, a road warrior and a dirt god. And as much as I like it, I think it's time to move on. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. If you're new to this channel, check out my previous videos. There you'll learn how a middle-aged cancer survivor, like myself, ended up with this particular bike on this incredible journey. A journey that has taken me from remission to buying my first dirt bike, learning to ride, racing in six months, and now three years later after two seasons of racing, I have finally become competitive. But that journey is far from over. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you might know that racing wasn't the plan from the start. I just wanted to learn to ride and see where it would take me. Within six months, I found myself here. This was my first race, and it was an awakening. I never knew how physically demanding and mentally challenging racing could be. Maybe during my time as a Marine, I got accustomed to adversity, but whatever the reason, I was hooked. I would go on to race the entire next season, finishing 10th in my class. During the following off season, I modified the bike, removing the bits that made it street legal, switching to skinnier tires, making any changes that I thought would make the bike more nimble and lighter. All those changes and my slow progress in getting better as a rider definitely helped the following season where I finished fifth in my class. An improvement for sure, but still not where I wanted to be. Next season, I want to finish in the top three and have at least one first place finish. And while I love the 500 for its smooth and seemingly endless power, I'm but a mere mortal. And it is exhausting wrestling such a powerful beast around the course. Maybe it's too much bike for me. Maybe it's too much bike for this type of racing. And I'm sure there are a ton of trolls out there that are ready to pounce on this. They're gonna call me weak, they're gonna talk crap about my riding skills, and they're gonna repeat that tired old mantra, it's the rider, not the bike. And while all of that might be true, the fact still remains that a smaller displacement bike that's lighter and easier to manage is gonna help me conserve energy. And conserving energy might just be enough to keep me going where I previously would have burned myself out on that 500. And as much as I want to be able to beat my chest, win a race on the 500 Dual Sport Thumper just to say I did it, I have a pretty good opportunity right now to trade it for something a little more nimble, lighter and easier to manage and tight single track that we so often find ourselves on in these races. The two options are a 2017 350 XCFW four stroke or a 2017 300 XC two stroke. Now the two stroke versus four stroke debate seems to me like a steaming hot porta john full of crap and angry flies that no one should poke a stick in and stir up. But I just don't have the experience to make an educated decision. I do have a good 300 hours over the past three years on four strokes, but so many of the fastest riders keep picking up two strokes. As I pack up to leave for Glen Helen Raceway in California to film the last dog standing race, I can't help but think how exhausting that race would be on the 500. I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do, but I'm not sure what I should do. Keep the 500, take the 350, or try something completely new with a 300 two-stroke. Now I want to hear from you. Which bike would you choose? And let's try to have a civil and productive conversation this time in the comments below. I know that some people can't help but act like disagreeing with them is comparable to insulting them, but just try to keep it civil. Stick to the facts and opinions about the bikes and keep the name calling and trolling out of it. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.